I am Dr. Sondra Rajan. I am a specialist of kidney working in the Apollo Hospital, Vanagaram. It's everyone's curiosity to know what is kidney. I think many somebody ask you, what is kidney? All of us are aware. What is brain? What is heart? What is eye? Head to foot, every organ is vital. People ask me to tell me what are the vital organs. Kidney is as important as brain. Kidney is as important as heart. We call somebody brainless, right? Somebody misbehaves in public place. We call them this fellow is a brainless fellow. And we, somebody you call them heartless, right? Especially uh, if you, somebody behaves ruthlessly, you call them a heartless fellow. We don't call somebody as a kidneyless fellow. So kidneys are two small bean-shaped organs sitting quietly inside the abdomen behind your belly and I think on either side of your spinal cord. I think many times, you know, I remember an incident. I think even a well-educated fellow who has got a good ranking, you know, one of the prestigious institutions came running to me telling me, doctor, my kidneys are swollen, my kidney got injured, I was playing cricket. And uh, I said, I was wondering how these kidneys got injured while I was playing cricket. Because uh, this fellow, I asked him to come to the room and examined him, I saw his scrotum is swollen. I think what this fellow was mistaking was kidneys are inside of the scrotum. I think he was a bright, bright, prestigious student of another institution. I think he's a very bright fellow, doesn't remember, doesn't know where actually is the kidney. He thinks the kidneys are inside the scrotum. Fortunately, kidneys have kept them God has kept the kidney safely inside the abdomen, behind your stomach, on the on the other side of your uh, vertebral column, uh, on the well, be, uh, the well behind your lungs and the back, the so-called back, uh, below your rib, rib cage. So it's comfortably placed inside. It cannot be hit by a uh, by your cricket player or football or volleyball. Okay. So having known that, is the kidneys are two small bean-shaped organ. Believe me, in a 60 kg man. The kidneys are hardly 125 to 150 grams. So both kidneys together hardly is about 250 grams or 300 grams. Amazingly, such a small, tiny organ, believe me, it gets about 25% of your blood supply. Almost out of 5 liter, every minute gets about 25% of the blood supply. The kidneys are filtering at the rate of 125 ml per minute. That means the primitive urine is produced at a rate of 125 ml per minute into 60 into 25 hours. Believe me, it makes about 160 to 180 liters of primitive urine. So that amount of urine is produced from the kidneys. And this kidney, this amount of urine is condensed, concentrated, and, and, and it becomes 1 to 1 point per liter. Because the, kid, the body takes back what all the water is needed from the what all is filtered. The kidneys are not only meant for producing urine, it's an important organ in conserving water. I think it takes back about 60 to 70 percent of water. So it's an important organ of conserving water, not only excreting imp to impurities. The kidneys also uh, produce certain substances like erythropoietin, which are vital for producing hemoglobin, I so call erythropoietin. So for a healthy kidney, it's necessary for healthy blood. Sometimes you see patients who are go on taking iron tablets, thinking they are anemic, not realizing it's the problem is a kidney failure. So kidney failure patients can come with anemia. So kidney also important for regulating your blood pressure. See. Uh, the blood pressure is kept normal is 120 80 the extremes of blood pressure kidney is one of the organ which is vital for keeping the blood pressure within the normal range so whenever there is a kidney dysfunction the blood pressure starts sh shooting up so all blood pressure irrespective of the reason there will be a renal damage kidney can be affected by blood pressure kidney can be a reason for blood pressure the thing we see patients coming for blood pressure while investigating a young hypertension for reasons for blood pressure we may identify a kidney problem or when you are when you are investigating a patient with high blood pressure, you may find something is wrong in the kidney. So I think blood pressure and kidney are interlinked. It's like you, there is so much no. I think all hypertensive patients must have a blood pressure. All hypertensive patients must have checking of kidney functions regularly, right? And I think besides that, kidney is also important for day-to-day -day maintenance of your. Like I always tell, kidney is like your mother doing your budgeting at the house, right? Like what is needed for the body. How much is water, how much is sodium, potassium, electrolytes, all these things are day-to-day -day managed and regulated by the kidney. I think kidney is also an important organ of excreting all the drugs. What all we, the medicines we take, they get removed either through the liver or through the kidney. All the water-soluble medicines are removed through the kidney. So I think whenever you are taking drugs which are taking, mainly getting excreted with the kidney, we have to be careful about the dosing, right? So that way, kidney has multiple functions other than producing urine it's an important regulatory organ important endocrine organ it's also a source of uh, the hemoglobin formation it's also an exit they also removes the detoxifies the medicine which are taking 
by the patient throughout the days that is importance of kidney i think one has to take care of the kidney as much as you take care of your eyes as much as you take care of your heart because many of the kidney problems are silent unfortunately that's why many of our patients come late a heart patient comes very early because he gets the warning signs of angina and chest pain whereas a kidney patient even when there is an end stage renal failure he may not have symptoms i think only way is all those patients who have a risk of kidney disease especially we have a family history of diabetes hypertension family history of dialysis family history of transplant who are extremely obese or you have somebody has undergone transplant in your body i think if they, they think such patients must routinely submit them for a routine check up after the age of 35 years last but not the least can anyone get kidney problem without diabetes without hypertension without family history yes there is a big group what's called the chronic kidney disease of unclear etiology or unknown etiology especially patients who are many times we are very sorry to see patients doctor how come this doctor i am not a diabetic i am not hypertensive i don't have anything you say you ask me to go for dialysis or transplant how come i think i myself cannot say that i think it's so called chronic kidney disease of unclear unknown etiology is usually related to chronic dehydration very commonly related reported from neighboring countries of sri lanka i am sure we also have large number of cases also from andhra pradesh i think i think i think one has to keep in mind need you need not be a diabetic need not be hypertensive need not be have a family disease to have get kidney disease i think it's good practice i always tell my patient after the age of 35 you should go for a master health check up as much as you celebrate your birthday always celebrate your birthday with a master health check up record so that nothing is missed from head to foot thank you very much for the opportunity